Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our MTG keyword series where we look at the keywords and budget options that are very useful. And we're, today we're looking at Constellation. Right now it is uh, the last day of Chuseok, which is like Korean Thanksgiving. It's one of the two big festivals. So my son is home. He has no school. Day five of him being home in a row with no school. Anyway, so if there's a bunch of random shouting, that's why. Okay, what is Constellation? Okay, this mechanic was released in Journey into Nyx, which is uh, getting to be a pretty old set. I believe it's set in, what is it called again? Theros, yeah. Constellation is triggered by any enchantment, including enchantment creatures entering the battlefield under your control. Usually it triggers itself as well. The nice thing about Constellation is that it will work in addition to other entering effects, including other Constellation effects. So if you have a whole pile of Constellation effects, enchantment comes in, it sets all of them off, right? You don't have to like pick and choose or anything. Duskmorn has a variation of the ability called Eerie, which has its own enchantment, enchantments called Rooms associated with it. I actually haven't played that yet. I ordered it. It's coming. I'm hoping to have it close to the actual release day so that I can do an opening that isn't like late, but we'll see. Sound familiar? So this mechanic is another kind of entering effect. It's very similar to Landfall, right? It's triggered by a, a card type entering the battlefield. So basically, this is landfall for enchantments. Consolation was originally called Enchantment Fall as its keyword. So the original, you know, before release, they went with Enchantment Fall. I'm glad they changed it because that's a lot of syllables. Or maybe it's not the syllables. It's four. Um, it's a lot of consonants, maybe that's it. Anyway, they both provide a myriad of effects upon a particular card type entering the battlefield under your control. Again, landfall, land, uh, constellation, enchantments, yeah. I would add, enchantments are easier to flicker than lands, generally. So, being able to flicker, again, just take it off the battlefield, put it straight back down. Enchantment, there's a lot of cards that can do that, right? There's a lot of things that let you, uh, Basically, Flicker non-land permanence is what you want to look for, and you'll probably be able to get that. Please hit like and subscribe. It makes such a big difference. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I feel like it's, I keep getting fewer and fewer likes the longer I'm doing this. It's kind of depressing. Anyway. Honorable mentions. Okay, so Thought Render Lamia. This is a 4 black black for a 5-3 not great there and whenever it enters the battlefield or another champ enchantment enters the battlefield under your control each opponent discards a card that's super powerful it is a six casting cost so it's up there but if you could just keep even flickering something or something like that you could just have them discarding their whole hand and basically not being able to play um very easy to abuse this 27 cents Next up, Skybind. Three white white for enchantment. So this is straight up an enchantment, not a creature, with constellation whenever Skybind or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control. Exile target non-land permanent. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Again, so um, this is your flicker, right? This is part of your flicker combo piece. What you want to do is you want to put this in and then uh, another thing that will be able to like exile when it enters so yeah you put this in you cast this you'll exile that thing it'll come back in it'll exile skybind skybind will come back in and then you just keep setting off those constellation triggers over and over and over and over and yeah you go infinite quite easily with that and it just like again if you've got thought render lamia they don't have any cards in hand then uh, or maybe you drain out their life entirely and just win the game okay 21 cents Finally, Strength of the Fallen, one in a green. Once again, Constellation, of course. Whenever Strength of the Fallen or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, target creature gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. So easy. This is like a great Golgari type of card. Um, 
you can load up your graveyard and then just all of your creatures become like plus one plus one if you want your like win condition in commander to be commander damage this is pretty easy to like shoot up your commander's uh attack power by just a huge margin it's only nine cents also two casting costs and only cost nine cents crazy Number five, Eidolon of Blossoms. Eidolon? Eidolon? Eidolon of Blossoms, I think. Uh, two green green for a two two. And whenever it or another enchantment enters the battlefield under control, draw a card. Yeah, hey, card draw. That's always great to have. And this is gonna, this is one of those cards where it's like it's card draw, but it's not like a massive card draw that people expect you to get all the time. Like Ristic Study or something. Ristic Study is very good, but as soon as you play it, they're like, let's destroy that. This, they'll probably be like, might not bother, because they think it's like one or two cards. It's not that big a priority. Getting a couple cards every turn for many turns is better than just getting like a pile of cards at once, I think. Anyway, 32 cents. Number four. Europa, or sorry, Eutropa. Twice favored. I always want to call her Yo Europa, like the movie. Again, she is one uh, green blue Simic, so, and she has Constellation. They all have Constellation. Whenever enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. First up, you're putting a plus one plus one counter on any creature you want. That creature gains flying until end of turn. Flying until end of turn may not sound that impressive. But again, if you're just trying to get that win con in, that's exactly what you need most of the time, right? I always think like, again, commander, commander damage, this is amazing because you're just gonna like keep giving your commander flying and another plus one, plus one. Really not hard to kind of stack this and just make it into a, a monster of a, of a creature. Anyway, eight whole cents. Number three. Protean Th Thaumaturge? Even by magic standards, that name is pretty uh, pretentious. Um, anyway, one and a blue for a 1-1. One, one. And whenever enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have him become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. So good. Especially in something like Commander, where everyone's going to have a really fancy card on the battlefield, probably. Um, you can copy anything. Usually copying is going to be limited to like one creature or like your own things. But this is just anything on the battlefield you can make a copy of and boom, you're done. Every time an enchantment comes in, you can just say, oh, I'm going to copy this other thing now. Or you can just keep it, you know? Um, whoa, this is a uh, very underrated 21 cents. Number two. <clears throat> Archon of Sun's Grace. <clears throat> oh, good. I can't talk. Tim Hortons. Two white white. Okay, for a 3-4 flying lifelink, that's not bad. Four mana, <clears throat> four CMC for a 3-4 flying lifelink, that's okay. A Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Sure. And whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white pegasus creature token with flying. Oh, um, 2-2 two -two flyers are great tokens because it's just your defense covered. Even the Archon also gives them a lifelink. So if someone attacks you with flyers, you're probably gonna block it and gain life. This is basically like a leave me alone card. Um, 42 cents. Number one. Okay, Doomwake Giant. Four and a black for a four six. Again, it has Constellation. Whenever and it or another uh, enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Oh. Um, so this is, you, if you can flicker, if you can set up some kind of like infinite flicker, it's just one sided board wipe whenever you want. Um, so yeah, it only hits 
creatures your opponent, opponents control and hit each creature. So things like Hexproof, Shroud, uh, Protection from Black, whatever it may be, doesn't matter. It's not being, they're not being targeted. It's just hitting everything. Um, so it gets around protection. It, uh, it just drains out anything, even indestructible things. It's minus count. It's going minus one, minus one. So even if it's indestructible, it's gone. Uh, 67 cents. The list. Okay. Eidolon of Blossoms. Eidolon. I keep saying Eidolon. Eidolon of Blossoms. 32 cents. Eutropia. The twice favored. 8 cents. Protein Thaumaturge. 21 cents. Terrible name. Do better. Archon of Sun's Grace. 13 cents only. Doomwake Giant. 78 cents. Why is this not like a $5 card minimum? I don't get it. Anyway, thank you and take it easy.